Lolo Jones, everybody. <laughs> a hurdler and also a break woman? Yes, bobsled. Lolo Jones making her debut in the sport of bobsledding, coming from track and field hurdlers. So for the bobsled, I'm basically the engine. It was like, we are the speed. So they recruited me from the Summer Olympics to push this bobsled and get it to form. This is what I wanted to ask. What's the commonality between jumping hurdles and pulling the brakes? I guess the only similarity between, you know, jumping over hurdles is I jump into something now, so. How have you modified your life based on what you've learned through your sports? Well, I think the main thing I've just learned is how much grit I have and how that, you know, there's times when I've won races and I've actually had more joy in some of the things that have set me back, like a failure or a mishap because I learned from it or I'm just like, I'm gonna get through that, I'm determined. And it shows me just like how strong I am. If you learn something from it, is it still considered a failure? Mm -hmm. I mean, technically, because they're not giving us Olympic medals for <laughs> messing up. <laughs> right, right. So, you sound like you're feeling really good going into these games. Uh, uh, you sound that way. Confidence. <laughs> but you have to kind of fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. All, even when I didn't make my first Olympic team, I was, you know, nervous out of my mind. But if you saw me on the start line, I looked like Superwoman. The overall thing is you have to make sure you just stay determined. Keep taking step after step because you, you never know what's gonna happen in these things. I never thought I'd be a three-time Olympian. I never thought I'd be one of the few people that goes to a summer and winter Olympics, you know? Yeah, how, how rare is that? You must be one of the, how many? <coughs> 10. 10. <laughs> just 10. Good for you, that's yeah, amazing. Great. no medal though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you, so it's really about the medal for you. You really just want to win. I'd wear it every day like two chains. Rick Ross. I can't wait. I'm so going to hold you to that. Drake. Drink. Yeah, just why? keep going Flavor with it. Flav. 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 Yeah. Mm, the original. <laughs> What's the best piece of Olympic swag you have? I think from Sochi opening ceremonies, we had a sweater. It's like someone in my grandmother knitted this sweater. It took her hours. Grandmothers it's all over the world are Stars busy. and stripes, and oh. it's just, it's beautifully done. It's just, it's really cool. And then also just my uniforms. I love, like, my track and field uniform. What are some other amazing perks about not only being an athlete, but being an Olympian and being a several time over Olympian? Mm, uh, I guess the major perks is the fact that we work out for our jobs. So, you know, most people go to a job and then have to go work out. Well, it's like we're- Work out is Check, work. check. But the opposite of that is, no, we can't go home and eat a lot because, you know, most people go home, have a glass of wine, dessert, and it's just like, we're counting the calories. Like, oh my gosh, like, I cannot eat this. Like the other night, I wanted to go out and it's just like, okay, well, how much sleep am I gonna get? And my recovery score, and it's just like- It must be really fun on a date. Um, I've been single for 15 years now. <laughs> I can't imagine why. I don't 730, understand. gotta go to bed. Sorry, Grandma. Why? <laughs> I'm so calm. Yeah. You know what, though? It only takes one. Right? It only takes one. <laughs> like the one that's, when you that's meet really them. why I just keep trying to make these teams. It's not for really, I mean, can I just be honest? It's for the, can we have an open moment? The, the booty. I don't care about the medal. I'm trying to meet my future husband. The Olympic Village, just like you're walking around with like superheroes. So yes. it's just like, all right. And then, you know, you got to wait every four years to meet them. So it's just like, you know. Okay, well, you know what? Is there an app, like a, a, a Tinder for the Olympic Village? Yeah, it's called Tinder. <laughs> Wow, one step ahead you are. <laughs> and I'm a day late and a dollar short, as I like to hear. Good luck breaking the thing. Thank you. The... <laughs> no, we don't want to break the bobsled. No, this is not it. cool running. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Not breaking. We stopping. can edit this. We're not editing anything. <laughs>